Have you ever met a bully? Someone who's perhaps a bit bigger than all the other boys and girls, and so uses his or her might and strength to be mean to those who are smaller and weaker. I wonder, how does it make you feel to see a bully be mean to others? How do you think we should deal with a bully? Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Pelly. Welcome to Journey with Story. Today's episode is a rather funny story poem about an olden day knight who is a terrible bully and does all sorts of dreadful things to the villagers until one day they take matters into their own hands and give this bully a taste of his own medicine. Before we begin, a big thank you to all of our Patreon subscribers. We really appreciate your support. Remember, if you want to become a Patreon subscriber, you can sign up at www.journeywithstory.com. And if you love this podcast, please do take a moment to share your comments in a review. We are so grateful to all of you who have been rating and giving us such marvellous reviews such as this one we received recently from Avery Hurst. I love this podcast because you make such good stories. My favourite podcast is Journey with Story. Make more stories for me. Oh, thank you, Avery. (laughs) Now, let's take a journey with Bad Sir Brian Botany by A. A. Milne. Sir Brian had a battle axe with great big knobs on. He went among the villagers and blit them on the head. On Wednesday and on Saturday, especially on the latter day, he called on all the cottages and this is what he said. I am Sir Brian. I am Sir Brian. I am Sir Brian, as bold as a lion. Take that and that and that. Sir Brian had a pair of boots with great big spurs on. A fighting pair of which he was particularly fond. On Tuesday and on Friday, just to make the street look tidy, he'd collect the passing villagers and kick them in the pond. Ah! I am Sir Brian. I am Sir Brian. I am Sir Brian, as bold as a lion. Is anyone else for a wash? Sir Brian woke one morning and he couldn't find his battle axe. He walked into the village in his second pair of boots. He had gone a hundred paces when the street was full of faces. And the villagers were round him with ironical salutes. You are Sir Brian? My, my. You are Sir Brian, dear, dear. You are Sir Brian, as bold as a lion. Delighted to meet you here. Sir Brian went a journey and he found a lot of duck weed. They pulled him out and dried him and they blipped him on the head. They took him by the breeches and they hurled him into ditches. They pushed him under waterfalls and this is what they said. You are Sir Brian. Don't laugh. You are Sir Brian. Don't cry. You are Sir Brian as bold as a lion. Sir Brian, the lion. Goodbye. Sir Brian struggled home again. 
and chopped up his battle axe. Sir Brian took his fighting boots and threw them in the fire. He is quite a different person now he hasn't got his spurs on, and he goes about the village as B. Botany Esquire. I am Sir Brian. Oh, no. I am Sir Brian. Who is he? I haven't any title. I'm Botany. Plain Mr. Botany B. Sir Brian certainly learned his lesson, didn't he? But what do you think? Do you think what the villagers did to teach him a lesson was the best way to deal with a bully? Or do you think there's a better way to deal with bullies other than giving them a taste of their own medicine? Hmm, this might be a good discussion for you to have with your friends and your mums and dads. And don't forget, send us your drawings. You can post them on Instagram and tag us or send them at our website at www.journeywithstory.com Cheerio then. Join us next time for Journey with Story. Music and post-production was by Colette Jonas. <laughs>